Hi girls, welcome back to my channel. It is Jenny Penton, founder of Planner Perfect. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about January goals and the setup of my first week of January, 2021. I'm using our Francesca and gold, which I'm absolutely in love with. She's in wide. Um, we will be replenishing her um, here very shortly. And uh, I'm really excited. So what I have in this is um, I have this little book now. In another video, I'm doing it right after this one. I'm going to be talking about how I use the little pocket size book as accents. Now, this one in particular, I'm using for prayer requests and um, in my community. So this is where, this is kind of like my little war binder journal for prayer requests, specifically for my team, my girls, and my community as a whole. So that is what I'm using um, this little pocket size journal for. Um, and then here I have all of our tippins in here that um, fit so perfectly in this pocket in which would fit anything in here perfectly. I like the idea of having um, pockets that are, you know, vertical so that way, you know, you can easily slide in whether you'd put our stickers in the back, a book, tippins, they're, they're useful. Everything in here is just easy to grab, easy to get, and functional. Um, so I kind of tend to glide my stickers in the back and then we have our notepad back here. So I have my January um, planner. I've got my journal. This is going to be another video on how I'm using this. I'm so excited. Um, God just led me to uh, perfect my prayer life and I can't wait to share this with you on how I'm using this. You're going to just want to dive into your journal that comes in your subscription box every single month. The way I have this set up could not be set up even more delicious than this and I can't wait to show it to you. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that video. It will come out this week. I also then have my bucket list which I love which is really just an ongoing list of things that I want to do and accomplish and this can go and be tucked taken out and tucked into any new New TN that I have. And so this kind of carries just everything I'd want to ever do. And I can pull from it like big bucket list dreams. And I can just pull from it every single month, new ideas of things that I want to try out, accomplish and tackle each month from gardening to a trip to Aruba. It's just all those little things in there that I want to get out of my head and onto paper. And I find that this is a really great way to do it. So this is my menu planner. I decided to keep it in my planner. Um, and, um, I have, I keep my one month of meals in here. That's again, is going to be another video. It's not, um, it's just how I use it. It's, it's just truly a lifesaver. And in having this, it's 12 months. It's amazing. Has your baking days in there to comp to help complement your meals, lunch ideas, breakfast ideas. So we'll sit down and chat with this. This is going to really kind of also be handy. Um, me and my sister are going to be going, doing videos, cooking videos. Um, you can be able to find us on IG. I will be letting everyone know soon when that launches and our name. So that'll be beginning and launching in January. And that's exciting. It'll be meals and recipes and tried and true favorites. So let's get back to it. Now that I kind of took you through just the whole look of my January, I just love the setup. She's like, let's get it, you know, let's get at it. And um, she just screams, let's go. So here we go. Now for this, um, again, like I had said, I did a little bit of a different feel. Um, not so much here, but this is where I kind of laid down some cute washi in certain parts, put down some dates I knew I needed to know of, and we'll add to as the month goes on. Now this is how I did my goals. And... Um, here I did health. So I just kind of used a tomboy pen, tombow, not tomboy, <laughs> tombow pen and just kind of marker and just went like colored it in. And then with a white gel pen, 
wrote down the goal. So I've got my health goals here, my new routine for this month, and um, I am getting a new treadmill and I'm really stoked about it and plan on getting up, um, having it part of already my morning routine and doing it before I um, start my day, get my workout in before people, my family wakes up, my people. I got chores for my boys I'm implementing now, some different things that they can do that can kind of help the family. Um, and I've gone it over with them and they're like, okay, let's go. So that's good. No fighting over it. I've got New Year's Eve and day totally mapped, planned out. Um, I've got my birthday is this month. So I've got my birthday down here. I've got cooking and yarn. So with cooking, I'm going to be using a flour mill. Um, I did get my um, Nutra mill. So we're going to be experimenting with recipes. My sister and I are launching this month, so I wanted to make sure that that was down launching. We're going to go out to lunch. I'm going to bring this with me and we can kind of, I can add to it. Um, my yarn project. I had already begun using um, my one yarn that I have and I made a mistake, so I got to go back. And I decided I didn't like that yarn that I had. It was just kind of, uh, it was weird. I'll have to show you. And um, I'm going to finish it though. I'm not going to waste it. And I'm going to make a blanket. And then I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby. I'm going to do it again. I like the whole idea of arm crocheting because I like speed. So and I like thick and delicious as those look. So that's my next project for January is definitely some yarn of blanket project with using arm crochet and then some cooking as well and baking. So when I head into my week, let's just dive into just my first week of January. I really have it mapped out as far out ahead as I can. Today is Monday. So when I get the grandbabies, when I don't have the bad grandbabies, and this has some of December still in it. So I really just moved into this now. And so I'm just planning within the January book now because we've got um, you can do that. So um, that way everything's all in one place and I just wanted to do that. Um, so how I did was just minimal. It's a minimalist kind of approach to it this year. Um, this month, I can completely might change next month. So I'm putting, you know, the weather like I usually do. I don't have grandbabies today. And again, it's a detailed descriptive scripting of how I want to live my life today. And you know, the first thing I did, and I wrote this out yesterday, but the first thing that I really do is give that hour to God. And then, you know, everything just, when you really lay out intentions, God just let, allows you to flow. And when things kind of come up that stop your flow, you know, I just sometimes if it's a real big abruption where it's negative, I'll just go and begin praying over um, everything that's going on and and getting me back in my flow state. So again, I'll take a negative that might come in and wrench it and say, you know, God, maybe I need maybe I yowled and yelled at someone or everything was someone was yowly and we can just reset. And so resetting has been really important to me lately and it's really been wonderful and I just get right back into my flow state and things just happen and, and, and jive according to plan. And if they don't, then I'll just move them on over. Um, but I was kind of setting even goals for the day, like objectives, the main big objectives. Um, but this was more of a detailed and it all felt just like this of how it was supposed to go. Um, and then, uh, these are my main objectives and that was to really bake and finish up my February box, the painting. So these are some big ones. And then they're just details of even how my evening's going to flow. So, um, here I've got my December again, more of a minimalist approach to it. Minimal washi. Um, we have our write a better story here. We added popcorn to the lineup for our stickers this year. This one has been I, don't, I love it. So I'm always happy when we do bring it back. I purposefully bring back seasonal stickers of artwork that come back because you don't get them. You don't even get them except for, you know, once, once a year. So um, we don't sell them on an everyday basis. So I love bringing back the tried and true favorites. Um, and here I've got my Wednesday and I do not have babies that day. And 
I've got a lot of business to do and I'm going to make some biscotti. Just that I do have my cleaning lady there. So with no grandbabies, I'm going to be able to really navigate and get things done a lot easier without the babies. I got my dinner. I've got what I'm going to do when the cleaning lady's here. I'm going to be doing here, doing a couple, even a couple, two different Zoom meetings, just different things that I can do while they're here. So I really just mapped it completely, working in my journals and planners, making sure I feed the kids before the cleaning lady comes. It's just taking time to visualize that whole day and what I am going to do. I also am implementing what I am good at to do it every day, even if it's not needing to go toward, you know, going toward like our boxes or our stickers or tip-ins. It's just taking time to paint and draw and using my skills daily. And so I'm bringing that into my life, especially 2021, more than I did in 2020. So um, that's something that I definitely scripted and keep in there um, and have part of my routine. And then here I've got Thursday, which is New Year's Eve and... Um, I've got our menu. I do have babies all day. So I'm going to keep things real clean and I don't want a lot of cleanup when I leave. So I even planned that I would be really taking away a lot of Waylon's toys. He likes to just do a major dump. Like, let me dump all my toys out and see what happens. I'm going to take all of his toys and actually leave him just with his favorites. And that way, because he only plays with them anyway, he just likes to be he just likes to be messy and dump everything he sees. So I'm going to remove all of it and just have his monster trucks and maybe his new bowling set that Guammy got him. And that way, when it comes to my older kids coming in for New Year's Eve and their friends, that now I have easy cleanup and I can move and transition now into um, the bigger kids and what we're going to do and feed them. We've got a foosball table for Christmas, so they plan on having tournaments. So we've got the whole lineup and the fun and the fireworks we're going to do on New Year's Eve. We always have that tradition where we really just play games until midnight. My mom always did that with us, and it was such a memory. She just outdid herself with games and food, and just with our immediate family, we would party it up. And sometimes we'd have her sisters come, and we would listen to you know, what's going on on the TV and watch balls drop at different, you know, areas of of the states. And, and then, you know, we just would celebrate at midnight. And so we have definitely passed on that tradition, whether it's Twister, um, Wii games, um, stuff like that. We just play and have tournaments. Scrabble, we've done that. So over the years, we've definitely, we have our sparkling grape juice. We just party hardy, okay? And I tell you what, it looks like it's a frat house come morning time because I crash at midnight and usually I wake up and it's a pit but it's part of the process and I don't care everyone just we just kind of get everyone in there to kind of help clean or it's me while people sleep but um January 1 I've got my day kind of planned for me um and this is where the biscotti comes in. I was going to make them and freeze them early because I really wanted to bring them out here on New Year's because I did not bring them out for Christmas. So I am going to be bringing in the Italian biscotti that I grew up on here. And it's a soft biscotti. So it's super delicious and all kids love it. It tastes like a donut. But here for January, um, it's definitely a day of just relaxing. I plan on, usually I get really, really aggressive and I begin to take down my trees January 1. And I tell you what, my husband usually gets really depressed when I start doing that. And I decided, he, even if I did on January 2nd, I think he'd be a lot happier with it. So I am going to honor my husband this day, girls, be proud. And I am going to relax. The only thing I'm going to do is strip beds and get our sheets back into cozy mode and get everything washed and cleaned and put away the Christmas sheets. But that's all the further it gets for me. Um, I'm just gonna, we're gonna watch any kind of fun TV that's on, maybe some movies. I am going to also bake. This is gonna be the last Taras, and I did not overdo it, you guys, on Christmas treats. I don't know if you guys make, baked a lot this year for Christmas in terms of cookies. Usually I have like 10 different styles of cookies available over Christmas, but this year I didn't. So I feel good about having just um it being uh, doing one more big burst of a sweet so we're my mom she learned this from dr james dobson his wife had a book out 
that I forget what it was called, but it was more around centered around homemaking, but she always made a white cake to represent the new year and a fresh start on New Year's. And my mom had always done that. So she passed that on. And this year, I didn't do it last year. I don't even think I've done it in many years, but this year I'm going to make a white cake to represent a fresh start and that um that his god's mercies are just new every morning as well so it's just a clean as snow fresh start and here we go and so it's more of a relaxing day it's baking a cake it's um I don't even, oh, I've got a roast with mashed potatoes and salad. My family loves my tried and true roast, so it's getting in early. So while the roast is in the crock pot, I've got, you know, sheets being washed and um, a cake being baked and fresh, you know, Pottery Barn sheets on the beds back on for January. And it's just, that's how I visualize it and for the day and we're supposed to be hit with snow really hard we're talking like uh, I thought it was like 15 inches or so 50 18 inches it was supposed to be pretty a lot of snow a lot of snow supposed to hit on Tuesday um so we're supposed to be getting quite a bit. So it's going to be cozy. Got my weekend. I just have the basics on here because I don't know yet until I move forward through. I really want to utilize these days well. Um, and so especially before the new week. So I will wait till midweek to visualize and um, have my whole week set. So this is my... Um, my weekly plans here girls and i have my week at a glance i've got my goals how i want to pursue my january and i put her in the beginning right here because she's like let's go let's go let's go getting the nordic track this month i'm so excited such great goals i've got for myself Look out for my next video on how to write a better story. That is a theme for Planner Perfect. We're going to be using this in such a dynamic way, using um, still the method, but yet breaking it down. And uh, it's going to be amazing. So guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.